Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, thank you very much for choosing to watch Overanalyzed Adventures. I'm keeping on, keeping on with the overanalysis of Emerald City Confidential, so let's start right now. But first, the game has to firmly establish why our heroine has such a thing for her brother. People died in that war, but the deaths were listed. Their families knew what happened. It's not much of a comfort, but it's something. William was just gone. No body. No, nothing. So her very young brother, who she hardly knew, mysteriously disappeared while she was off fighting in the war. But one thing I can't help but wonder about is where the hell are Petra's parents? I mean, it's their own damn kid and they don't seem to even exist. Are they dead? Are they alive? Do they just not care about Petra or their own son? I mean, for a game that's so damn chatty, it's kind of surprising how little we know about Petra. But what I do know is that it's relatively easy to escape from prison, thanks in large part to the Scarecrow giving you an escape from prison spell. Yeah, that's all it's good for, escaping from prison. But oh look, TikTok's still here. So obviously we gotta distract him by rubbing our lunch on the wall and saying it's mold, and then he'll come in and stare at it. He's not a very clever automaton, is he? But hey, we're scab free now, so let's run around the palace trying to figure out how to escape, and oh no, we eventually get caught. They have me. I can either give myself up or wait for the guard to drag me out. But if I'm about to go down, then I'll go down with dignity. You escaped. Tell me how. Oh hey, it's the queen. You know, the lady who rules this land. Let's go talk in her chambers. What I am about to tell you will not leave this room. The Wicked Witches of Oz, do you know of them? Of course I do. Every school child knows those stories. They ruled the Winky and Munchkin countries before they were destroyed by Dorothy Gale and her friends. It was a long time ago. We were all different people then. We thought we were doing the right thing. It is easy to say that the witches deserved their deaths. They were tyrants and traitors and were not fit to live. Well, damn, that's some extremist talk right there. But their existence ensured there was balance. Balance? I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, she goes on for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the chase here. Oz is all about balance, you see. Four countries, four witches, two of them wicked two of them kind, with the Emerald City in the middle to bind them. When these elements are in harmony, we are strong. When they are not, we are weak. That's some great wisdom right there, Scarecrow. Basically, if you live in one of the crappy areas of Oz, just buck up and deal with it because it's for the benefit of all. It keeps harmony. Your suffering and your poverty and your anguish, that's all for the benefit of everyone else. Yeah, if any land was ripe for a people's revolution, it'd be this one. But naturally, Petra goes along with what the monarchs say because I guess she's a royalist at heart. And now she's got a quest that she's been blindly trusted with. The four witches? In a rod? We are at a loss to explain it ourselves. Yeah, all the four witches, the two good, the two bad, they're in this magical spirit rod that Ansel stole. So now we have to go around doing some quests in the Freedom so we can bring balance back to Oz so we can defeat the phantasms once and for all. You asked to see me first and foremost? We have interrogated the prisoner. You let the spirit rod slip through your fingers twice! It may seem that way, your highness. Seem that way? It is that way! You were given that spirit rod in order to entrap the four witches! Now, two of the witches are free again! Well, thank you very much, first and foremost, for summing up the game's plot up to now. I really didn't know that the two witches were free, but thanks to this cutscene, I now know. The Rod is traveling with Petra now. We have to watch her very closely and see what she does. And then? That's the clever part. Now listen. Oh no, it fades to black. We'll never know what the clever part is. Probably just follow Petra around and maybe ambush her or something because she's traveling alone without the companionship of any entourage. My god, just go in there and take her out. Come on, phantasms. It's not very difficult. So anyway, we now find ourselves outside of an arena where none of the voice actors were paid to do voice work, so there's a lot of text to read. Let's go inside. Mombi, baby, just relax. You're my star attraction, and I'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. Get rid of that wizard, then. Mombi, sweetheart, you're the tops. 
but you know I can't do that. He's allowed to be here as much as you. His presence irritates me. Mommy, you're the cream of the crop, and we all love you. But my hands are tied. You are a miserable worm. I'll be in the cafe. Call me when you find a challenger worth my time. Obviously, that's going to be us, because you see, this is a magic combat arena. I know, the magic laws are kind of iffy. I guess if it's for entertainment purposes, it's okay. But nevertheless, we gotta be trained up by the Wizard of Oz, or at least the former Wizard of Oz, in order to beat this lady so we can go into this tower and free one of the witches. It's not very complicated. Come on, let her rip! Wizard? What do you want? Mombi won't give up the tower key. Yeah, I know that. And why do you think I'm working so hard to breed a champion that can beat her? I've got to get that key back, I just have to. That tower doesn't belong to Mombi, it belongs to Glinda. If only I could find someone who stands a chance against her. So as you would imagine, we convinced the Wizard of Oz that yes indeed we are a champion. And yeah, why the champion gets a key to the old witch's tower, I don't know. Perhaps the owner of this arena is just cheap and doesn't want to give out cash prizes or trophies. So cue the Rocky music, we need to defeat the current guy that the Wizard of Oz is training. What the? Now, use magic to counter Ugu's spell! It's hard to breathe in here. Oh no, good thing the only spell we have is ideal for this exact situation. And yeah, the guy's name's Ugu. That's not a very intimidating name. But as you imagine, Petra wins. Yay, Petra. She used magic, you imbecile. You should try it sometime. Amazing. I give up. Ugu, you're out of here. Hit the benches, find another coach. Uh, okay. Alright, so you're a better spellcaster than Ugu, but that's not saying much. If you want to take down Mombi, you'll need a spell with a bit more oomph. Oomph? There's this spell. I call it Sap. And that's essentially all we need to defeat the lady. Yeah, basically, when you're fighting her, it's a series of puzzles that you need to solve. Sometimes you have to do it in the fight, sometimes you have to change some stuff around the arena in order to win. But nevertheless, it's not too tricky. And as you imagine, Petra inevitably wins. With some mild cheating, mind you. Petra's disabled the shield. What will Mumbi do now? She missed! Mumby missed! What? How? I, I don't believe it! She's down! Mumby is down! We are witnessing history tonight, folks! Mombi is down and Petra has emerged victorious! Ladies and gents, give a hand for the new champion of Woot's Wild Arena of the Arcane, Petra! Yeah, I can tell this crowd's really into it. But yeah, I know, I left out a lot of stuff there. But to be frank with you, other than trying to get into that tower, there's not a whole lot that happens here. And the Wizard of Oz character, he's not really all that interesting. He just seems obsessed with the tower because the tower contains the spirit of Glenda, who he pretty much is in love with. And that's his only motivation. And the villain lady, she's just a generic, arrogant magic lady that you need to beat because, well, she's in our way. But now, let's cut to the chase and get to the damn tower and free the good witch. It opened! Praise Lurleen, it opened! Glinda, I'm coming! Crazy old man, wait for me! I know, it's almost like this game engine couldn't support two moving characters at the same time. What? Oh, hello there. May I help you? What? No, no, can't be. Kid, what have you done? I brought her back. No, this illusion, this isn't funny. Illusion? 
I'm no illusion, Pinhead. What's gotten into you? Pinhead? Only Glinda called me Pinhead. Exactly. Ergo, I am Glinda. It's logic. Didn't I teach you anything? But you're dead. Yes, yes I am. It's a bit bothersome, I admit. But there's much work to be done. Aw, how touching. Surely nothing will interrupt this lovely reunion we're having. Not so fast. Didn't I just defeat you? Quiet, Petra. My quarrel is not with you. Mumby of Gilligan. Leave this place. It does not belong to you. What was that? Was that the sound of moral self-righteousness? Then it must be Glinda. Not even death can stop her from nagging. Yeah, 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 we get it. You're a villain now, a very mild villain. And we need to fight her again. And of course, we win. Again. Hold! What? I can't move! You forget. This is Glinda's tower. You held onto it for years and never realized its true purpose. There is power here. Power that is awakening. You took me by surprise before. But now we're ready for you. Impossible! No. Logical. Pinhead, I believe Maneuver 14B is called for. Oh, that takes me back. Not bad. Not bad? She's at least halfway across the deadly desert by now. You've done better. So rather than do the humane thing and kill her, our heroes decide to send her into the heart of the deadly desert, which does not sound pleasant at all. And you know what? Now that I think about it, a lot of our heroes' heroic actions seem downright despicable. But hey, whatever. We freed Glenda now. So that's one witch down, just another witch to go. So let's head on out of here and never speak to Glenda or the Wizard of Oz again. And I'm not kidding there. They don't matter for the rest of the game. They're just hanging out on this tower, probably making googly eyes at one another and trying to figure out, well, is she corporeal or not? So let's go to another area. Hey, are you in charge around here? That depends. Who are you? Oh, look, it's the Tin Man, and he's an alcoholic. Well, an oil addict, and he's the ruler of this area, and he's just, well, propped up here, chain drinking, being all miserable and tinny. So naturally, things are not what they seem around here. It turns out there's a corrupt frog that's running a racket in this small town and pretty much fleecing all the small business owners. It's kind of strange what happens here. And what exactly does happen here, I'll have to get into in the next video. Hopefully I'll see you then, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between.